Hello, Sisters in Solidarity. Uh, welcome. I'm so excited to be speaking with you today. Welcome to Mindfulness with Dr. J. I am Dr. Jackman. I am a psychologist and a wellness expert. And my mission is about making um, therapy accessible to people of color, just like you. And my company, InnoPsych Inc., is an organization with a number of products, but our signature product is our Therapists of Color directory. And our main goal is to make sure that people of color like yourself have access to therapists that look like them, that come from their same cultural backgrounds. So that's what we're about. We're also about um, spreading positive messages about mental wellness and making sure that people that look like me have access to know that therapy is a place where you can heal so long as you have the right person guiding you along the way. So that's my mission and that's what I'm about. Thank you so much for inviting me to be part of your conversation. And I hope that you find at least one strategy that you can take and apply to your life today and for the rest of the semester and for the rest of the school year. So we have been through quite a bit um, through the racial pandemic. We have been through COVID. We've seen the economic downturn. This has been quite a lot. And it's so important that through this all that we think about how we can thrive, not just survive, how we can thrive in this moment, how do we come out stronger as individuals, stronger as people, and making sure that people pay attention to our needs and that they respond to it. So as you're thinking about returning to school in a predominantly white institution, which institutionally, historically, has neglected our needs, right? They have not maybe attended to your needs in ways that help you to be fully successful. And so this is the call to action for the organization and for you to hold them accountable for that. But in that fight and in that struggle, it is key, it is critical that you hold on to your mental wellness so that you can continue the struggle in this fight. This is not a sprint, right? You have to pace yourself and you have to be kind to yourself and you have to let yourself know it's okay to take a step back so that you can recenter, regroup and come back more focused, more organized in your thinking and more planful um, about the action that you want to take. So I'm going to walk you through a few mindfulness strategies. Again, I hope that you can gain something that you can apply to your life and as sisters connecting with each other, that solidarity is so important. And I'll explain why I agree with your name and why I love your name so much. So finding your sweet spot, um, this is um, a concept that I think is really important and I've created a product around this that I'll share with you in a few minutes. But I think it's really important that we pay attention, attention to three things that help us connect to our sweet spot. And those three things are mindfulness, mindset and your mind body connection and i will quickly review them um, and then uh, give you some other strategies that you can use too so mindfulness is really about being present focusing on our breath and attending to self-compassion and i think that self-compassion is so critical particularly for women of color because we often have many roles we're responsible for many people in our lives we are often the caretakers um, and so we often leave ourselves last if we put ourselves on that list and so this is a call to action for you to center your name who whatever your name is center that name and make sure that you are prioritizing your mental health needs your emotional wellness needs that you are taking care of yourself so that you can better take care for other people um, so one of the things we talk about is focus on breath and just using breathing. Um, another one is meditation. And I think it's really, really a cool exercise. And I find um, that I, when I do it with clients, I enjoy it probably more than my clients do, I don't know. Um, but it's such a way to just take a minute and to practice stillness. You don't always have to be moving. And I'm someone who's always on the go. So when I have those moments of mindfulness and of stillness, it's really important for me. It helps me recenter, it helps ground me. Um, there's some apps out there like Liberate and Shine. You may already heard of those. I also have a special treat on my website. There's a self-guided meditation called the P 
peaceful place meditation and you're welcome to listen to that it's free to listen to and i guide you through a peaceful place journey and i think it's so important at this time where we have so many um things that were on our mind and making it challenging it's a great way to bring stillness and allow you to recenter and ground yourself the other concept that I think is really important is thinking about your mindset. So how, what is the frame of mind that you enter school? Do you enter school with success? You know, being on a journey to a college degree, I think is an act of resistance because we are showing we're educated um, and we are making ourselves in a different position from a financial perspective as well. So, but how in, the, in that search, in that journey to college, we, there's a lot of pressure from our families to succeed. Maybe our family members are trying to dictate what we should study or they have no clue what we're studying and you know they're worried about our financial um, well-being. But sometimes the ways that they do that can be very um, demeaning. Um, and then we can carry those negative messages and be harsh with ourselves as well. We, we then become our harshest critic. And so I invite you to really think about how you can think of, use positive self-talk to promote and affirm yourself. The more that we value and see our own worth, then people will value and see our worth too. And it allows us not to take stuff from people that we don't need to be taking stuff from, even if those people are within our own family. Um, and one exercise that I highly recommend is starting and ending your day, listing two to three things that you're grateful for. It helps you reflect on um, both, you know, it helps you focus on what's going well for you and reframe sometimes you get in a place where we only think of what's negative. And this, this exercise, the gratitude list, really helps you think about how to reframe that. I also think therapy is another great strategy um, in terms of finding yourself and finding your identity. And that's why I created Inner Psych. Um, and there's also an app called I Am that sends affirmation, positive messages to you every day. So those are other strategies that you can connect to. And then the mind-body connection is really important. Um, our, our bodies carry our stress and our trauma. And if we don't find ways to release that stress and trauma, it stays with us. It becomes chronic stress. And then it becomes things that harm us, right? It can impact our physical health. So movement, adding movement to your life is really critical. And I'm not saying go out there and run a marathon because I'm not doing it. I'm not doing marathon, but I, I take walks. I exercise um, 30 minutes a day, not, ev not every day of the week, right? But I include exercise as a part of my routine. I stretch when I feel tense. So those are ways that we can allow our body to move. And I think it's really important, particularly or if you're in a primarily virtual setting, creating that movement during your day is really important. Um, the other thing is creating. So I was so excited during quarantine, I made my first vision board. And I often, not, I often say I'm not a creative person, but I found that I took time. It took me about three days to find my photos and put everything together. And it came out really well. Um, but finding ways to create, have that creative outlet connecting to art, even if you're not an artist, going to those virtual museums, uh, I think it's a great way to allow ourselves to enjoy nature and the other, the beauty that other people can create. Um, connecting with your passion. So whatever your passions are, making sure that you're connecting to those. Um, it can be so easy to kind of let go of things and just focus on what's not working. And I think connecting passions are really great ways to build that sense of, um, um, resilience within yourself. And then community. So connecting with each other. And I'm so happy that you have each other, sisters in solidarity, and you can connect with each other and create community. The last thing that I want to share with you is, is finding your sweet spot. So I created this card deck that highlights these 10 mindfulness strategies and things that actually connect to people of color. And um, there are a whole, there's a whole card deck that goes along with these that have prompts and activities and quotes from other people of color that I want you to enjoy. This list, um, this um, image you see here, that's available for free on my website. So I encourage you to go over to the website, um, inosyc.com resources, and you can find this and download it. 
start with you. There's some questions on there to help you start to generate that um, uh, their journal prompts or things that you can start to create to help build that mindfulness mindset for yourself. And this is how, this is our Therapist of Color directory. Um, so it was really important for me to feature women of color, but also men of color, because sometimes you want to hear male perspective. But this is a free resource that's um, available to you. I encourage you to let your counseling center know so that they can make sure that they're connecting other people of color at your school to this resource as well. And this is how you stay in touch with me. So I'm at InnoPsych Inc. Uh, sorry, InnoPsych.com. And you can connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, um, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And I look forward to meeting you all, maybe in person or maybe virtually. I'd love to do an event with you. So stay connected with each other and please stay connected with me and InnoPsych. Um, get resources that you need to take care of your mental wellness. Thank you. Take care.